Okay, Mr. Reeve here again. This is the third part of the three-part series on how to make a car move with A, S, W, and D. How to um, add shooting. So we have movement, how to add shooting. Uh, then in this tutorial, I'll show you how to put a couple objects around and detect if they're shot and maybe make them disappear if they get shot. So let's take a look. First of all, let's add a couple of uh, objects around. Okay, so yeah, sure, let's add a blimp. Um, also add a chopper. and a dump truck whoa okay so let's just move these around a little so that we actually have to move around to see them I'll put that one off into the distance and let's figure out the blimp first once we get the blimp working, we can add the others. Whoops. So this is uh, how we would start. And really what we need to do is we need to figure out if the bullet is ever close to the blimp. And if, the, if the bullet is get, get close to the blimp, then we can make the blimp disappear. The way that we do that is we would have a world method and the world method is just going to constantly keep checking the how far the sphere, the bullet, is away from each of the three objects. So let's just try it with the blimp. If everything works good, then we'll do it for the other objects as well. Create a method. We'll just call this check hit. That should be fine. We'll make it as part of the world because it's going to be the sphere and all the other objects in the world. Um, we want this method to check hit to start when we start the program so that we're constantly checking from that point on. So we're going to create another event when the world starts. If we look down here, when the world starts, we will do check hit. All right, and in this check hit, we really just want to have a loop infinity times. Now, we could have a game over, and in, in which case we'd have to have some kind of a flag to say that we're done our game. But we're just going to keep it a little simpler than that. We'll just do loop infinity times. In this infinity times, we will have a do together so we can check all three items. But the first um, one will just be an if statement. And in that if statement, we will just grab the sphere. And in the sphere's functions, there are lots of kind of distance related functions. The one that we need in particular um, would be distance to. So if we say if distance to, um, now we have a bunch of different choices here. Equals equals means it's exactly equals to. Uh, exclamation equals is not equal to. We have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. What we want to say is the distance to the blimp is less than. So we're going to choose the last one, less than. And we'll have to play around with the value here. Maybe we'll try five meters. Now, see how it didn't, we didn't choose the distance to yet, so we're going to put blimp here. So if the sphere's distance to the blimp is less than five units, what do we want to do? Well, let's make the blimp disappear. So the blimp's going to start out visible, and as soon as that sphere gets less than five, it'll make it disappear. Now, at that point, we could also adjust a counter. You know, um, if we had a countdown counter, there's three objects, we could make it go. Um, subtract one from that so that we only have two objects left 
we could do a variety of things there. But at this point, though, let's just keep it simple. We'll just make the blimp disappear. Okay, so let's try it out. And remember the range on our shot uh, when we did the shoot for the car. The range on the shot was 40 meters. So we have to be within 40 meters for this to, to uh, work. And we have to hit the blimp. Let's try it out. Okay, so we're aimed, we hit V, okay, it it didn't, the blimp didn't disappear because we're not closer, close enough, so let's get a little closer, hit V, and probably still not close enough. Now remember, when we do that, is it, f is the sphere less than, uh, the sphere distance to the blimp less than 5, that's center to center, so we may have to adjust this. It's looking like it because we're clearly hitting it from our. So let's try upping it um, in the check hit to maybe 10. Let's just try that again. Yeah, like it looks like we're hitting it. Maybe we're not quite close enough. Okay, and then there we go, we got it. So I think that's probably good enough. Um, not sure what happened there. So now essentially what we have to do is we just have to do the same if statement, but for all three of the objects, the dump truck and the chopper, chopper as well. So we can make copy, make copy, change this to the chopper change this to the dump truck and make sure that you change this to the chopper and this to the dump truck. It's one of the most common errors that we see in coding and Alice and Python processing Java is when we copy and paste something we forget to change one of the values. So let's just double check. Sphere distance to the blimp make the blimp go invisible, sphere distance to the chopper, make the chopper invisible, sphere distance to the dump truck, the dump truck goes invisible. Okay, we look good. Now, if we find that, you know, this is kind of too sensitive for the chopper or the dump truck, we can decrease these values back to five. Let's try it out. As we hit each one, they should um, go invisible. Not quite close enough. Okay, good. That looks good. Okay. And boom. Okay. So we seem to have successfully um, been able to shoot our three objects. They all disappear. Uh, our program doesn't stop. The program actually keeps going. And even though they're invisible, it's still checking uh, the distance. It's just making them invisible over and over and over and over again. But that's it for the last tutorial. Hope you enjoyed.